let me answer some of the questions or at least try to answer some of the questions that have been raised so i have shared the github link here i uh, i'd imagine that's a common question that gets asked uh, especially when somebody joins in uh, a bit later so i would like to ask for volunteers if you guys are looking at the chat and somebody says hey what's the github link please post the github link uh, because i don't want them to keep waiting till i happen to see it so please feel free to help people out um let's see i get a, i got a couple of answers about uh does this solve the problem well uh, the overwhelming response seems to be no. Uh, it solves a small portion of the problem, which is no more block threads for a long time, but still there are block threads for some time, which is three seconds in this case. Yes, but it's, it's a problem for a short term, and I would say it's a problem for the long term also. Or let me ask you, is it a problem for the long term? If, if, if I say, okay, three seconds is fine. It's only, I've set the time out of three seconds. So block threads for three seconds is fine. Uh, anything more than that is an issue, but that's not going to be an issue because I've set the time on, right? Is that a fair assumption to make? My guess is no. Now the question is, why would it be a no? If you have a time out of three seconds, how can it be a long-term problem? What if we have multiple resources using the same microservice? So I think this will not solve the problem completely. You're going to be setting a timeout for calling each of those resources, which is what we're going to do with the movie catalog service, right? So when we added that REST template, the movie catalog service is calling two microservices here. It doesn't matter if it's two or a hundred. As long as each request has the timeout for three seconds, which is what we have set, doesn't matter if it's one service or multiple services. It's going to wait for three seconds for any single request. And uh, if that doesn't respond within time, time's out. So it doesn't matter how many how many microservices you're calling. So what is the problem? It is still an issue is what I would say. How is it still an issue? Because threads still exist on the web server. This is actually true. So why does threads still exist on the web server? Let me explain that. Now, when you have a timeout that is set for, let's say three seconds, right? A thread is going to wait for three seconds when there is a call to a slow microservice. If it doesn't respond within three seconds, it ends the thread. All right. Now, what if the requests that are coming in is faster than what the timeout can do to remove something out of the thread? All right. So let's say you've set the timeout of three seconds and I send uh, a request per second, right? Users are sending a request per second and the timeout is taking three seconds. We're back to the same issue, right? Even though the timeout is eventually going to clear the thread after the timeout period, the number of requests that are coming in, the frequency of requests that are coming in are too fast, or at least they're faster than what the timeout can do to remove stale requests from the resources, from the thread resource, All right? You see what I'm saying? So what's going to happen is it's going to solve the problem a little bit as long as as long as the requests that are coming in are at a lesser frequency than the threads that are being removed because of timeout, it's all good, right? So timeout, removes the thread, then the request comes in. Then that something else times out, removes the thread, then a the request comes in. That is fine. But in the space of a timeout, let's say there are three requests coming in each time, right? Three seconds, three requests. Another three seconds, another three requests. So for each of those three, three seconds, only one request is being timed out, but then there are three requests coming in. So no matter what happens, eventually we're gonna run into the same issue, right? We are still gonna run out of resources. We're gonna hit the, hit the thread limit, right? So that's the, that's the problem. So timeout kind of solves the issue, but not fully solves the issue. So, I would say it's a partly solved problem at this point, right? Now, what do you do? What else can you do to solve this issue? And this is where we're going to going, we're going close to the ideal solution that we're going to be implementing, right? So here is the proposed solution. 